Hey everyone, it's Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. It's been a while since I did an update on the uh, computer electronic video game museum that I have upstairs. So I thought I'd uh, make a quick video today. I'll kind of go through some of the areas and uh, go through the products real quick with you. A lot of this stuff is from the late 70s, uh, 80s, and 90s. I got a collection of computers anywhere from vintage original machines uh, all the way up to, I think the latest ones I have would probably have XP. Um, I'm starting to actually collect the anything like, you know, XP and even, you know, that, that vintage because they're starting to get, you know, kind of tossed out in the trash or recycled. So obviously I'm not going to collect every one, but the thing is, you know, those will be vintage at some point as well. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna kind of start over here where I usually do. So, I'm gonna most of the stuff on the tables. There's some things on the floors too, but those are you know not as fun. But I'm gonna. I don't have a real good lighting system up here. Um, I actually kind of blacked out the windows so that the uh, sunlight wouldn't yellow a lot of this old stuff, but. In process of doing that, I kind of lost uh, some lighting. So, anyways, I'm just going to kind of go through here. Anything that kind of stands out in my memory, I'll kind of bring up and say something. But, um, or if uh, people that come up uh, really kind of like something, I'll throw it up there. Like the light bright, for example, that's one that a lot of people comment on. Uh, there's an old uh, GE AM radio that I had as a boy, still works. It's an 8 track player. Or, uh, 8 track? Yes. <laughs> Video recorder. Fairchild F. A lot of people comment about that one. There's the uh, Sony boombox that I had in the 80s. That no longer works. Um, I think it smoked on me one day, so I'm not sure what's happening with that. There's the F child. Uh, uh, box and controllers. Actually, I don't know if that's the Fairchild controllers. That's for something else, I believe. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff. A little video projector down here. Sorry about the light again. Uh, there's a fax machine. <clears throat> These are miscellaneous uh, guitars and game pads, guns, and stuff like that from some of the newer consoles. There's a Retro Pie plan that we sell some of the video games uh, Samsung Nuon really cool little game system that's a very rare find it actually does work it's got some pretty cool games as well Tandy Vision that's like a Intellivision most of the items up here do work um, some don't there's the old Retro Gamer sign, and that's the sign that came out of our Waynesville store that we shut down. Uh, retro Video Games again. But it actually was kind of cool, because now I've got it up here. And that's an old uh, tower down here that had uh, MAME on there. Because Windows XP Dragon. That's, uh, I bought that new in a box. There's a WinBook laptop and some boxes from some uh, vintage computers and Nintendo stuff. There's an Apple iMac. That's a blue one, turquoise kind of, yeah. <coughs> There's a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this is from Sears, I believe. It's a hair dryer. It's one that you would have bought at the house and sit underneath. There's another uh, eMac. I think those were in schools. An Atari 100. Uh, 130XE. There's uh, Rob the Robot. Commodore 128D. And 128. I think there's a... Uh, yeah, there's a 128D. There's a clock made out of a CD by Radio Shack back in the day when I used to work there. Um, a little quiz kid. Calculator. Actually, it's not really a calculator, it's a, a learning tool. 
It was made by uh, Texas Instruments, I believe, or National Semiconductor. Uh, that's a uh, Magnavox Odyssey plan, Atari, classic asteroids. And there's a TurboGrafx-16. <coughs> Uh, Phantom Chess Challenger, I showed that in a video that's in a box and everything, very cool. I've got tons of little guys down here. There's an Atari 400 hiding out back there, Atari printer, these are some Atari items. There's a CD, Iowa CD player from 2003. I picked that up at a thrift store for like five bucks, uh, actually works kind of cool I thought I liked the way it sounded and it actually opened the way the uh, disc tray opened up was pretty cool there's your Clico Atom system up here <coughs> you do need the printer the printer actually acts as a power supply for that Clico Vision Commodore VIC-20 TI-99 beige there's a Mac Cube. That one does work sometimes. It's a little flaky sometimes. However, Power PC, Dandy 600, Brother Power Note. I had this when I was, <clears throat> I believe, in the uh, 90s sometime. Couldn't afford a laptop back then, and so the Power Note actually was a word processor, but you got to do some computing type things. Very limited though. It wasn't kind of a hybrid type system but kind of cool uh, Toshiba libretto is one of my first little mini laptops most things go for a lot of money nowadays uh, radio shack color computer Commodore 64 there's a thick uh, floppy drive alumina storm Dreamcast keyboard back there and then uh, TI 99 I put some posters up um, we weren't really selling a lot of them so I'm trying to get rid of them, and I thought, hey, I'll just put some posters up. It looks kind of cool, and <coughs> put some on the, the walls. There's an old projector that you would have found, like, in a school, minus the laptop here, but that's when they used to use transparencies, and you'd see the thing up on the, uh, on the screen at the school. These, uh, this shelf here has a lot of just kind of smaller miscellaneous items, original uh, Sony CD player. <coughs> Uh, this is one of my old Walkmans here. Uh, actually, it was smaller than a cassette, so you actually had to slide it out like that to put your tape in. doesn't work anymore, but it's kind of cool. That's my original CD player. I don't think that works either. I've got some uh, Tandy Zoomer and Casio PDA. Same thing, essentially. Oh, and AST had a copy of that, too. <clears throat> uh, Arcadia games. I used to have some of this stuff for sale, but nobody would ever buy it, so I actually just kind of moved it over to the museum. Uh, down here real quick is pretty much a pile of all the Radio Shack catalogs, I think from the late 70s all the way up to current. I think I have every single issue, which is kind of cool. I love to look through those. There's a bunch of old processors up here. And newer ones too. I'm starting to pull those out just to have them. Just for fun. Tandy uh, 102, those are very popular and they still are. Smaller posters. Radio Shack TRS-80 Model 1 does not work still. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get that working. At some point I want to get another monitor and uh, computer and kind of narrow down which one is the actual problem. That's my first laptop that my dad gave me. Floppy based only. I believe that does work. And there's a uh, Commodore PET 4032. Function, some of the keys don't work, but that's alright. It's just cool. Uh, Nintendo top loader, non-functional, but neat. Some of the Japanese, uh, uh, anyways, I can't think of the name. European Nintendo system, that's kind of a rare one. Uh, Sony floppy disk camera. 
some European uh, Nintendo game cartridges. Kind of cool and rare. Some RD memory back from the oddball computers. <clears throat> and these are a bunch of cartridges from some of the older uh, game video game consoles. Some old cell phones, Razor phone. My old favorite uh, Commodore calculator that my grandma used to have. Casio Pocket TV. And let's see, these are just some boxes and stuff like that down here. <clears throat> Here's an iMac G4 playing uh, some music I had from home through iTunes. The visualizer on. Tommy Tudor, Emerson Arcadia, do not believe that one works. Some old uh, cassette recorders from back in the day, Tommy Pocket Games. The uh, first generation of the uh, TRS-80 color computer, my favorite computer. There's some old video games, handheld games. Merlin. There's an Amiga right there. I'm not sure if that works or not. <clears throat> this is a Tandy 1000. That's the original 1000. With a uh, CM2 monitor. It's a color monitor, kind of a rare one. Vetrix, of course. Some little robot guy. That's a Tomy robot. Here I've got my DOS box computer where I've got uh, probably about 100 different um, old school DOS games and it's got the uh, Sound Blaster sound card in it. We sell those. And here's the arcade games that we sell as well. These are uh, 698, it's a 61 on board. This little guy here, it's a Fujitsu uh, computer slash tablet kind of this swivels but I have computer chronicles playing during the day on that that's kind of cool alright now we're gonna go down this wall here um, grid case that's a grid computer I believe I think they got bought out by Tandy back in the day uh, Hoover stainless steel frying pan I don't know why that's up here but it just struck me as cool it's got some cool designs on the top <coughs> Excuse me. I just kind of had to have it. So, uh, Timex Sinclair uh, cassette player. There's my dad's uh, vintage Victrola, and then a little Viewmaster back there. I had that when I was a little boy. There's a little record player from Radio Shack, and some 45 records back here. That all works. There's the Bally Astrocade. I love that little computer, uh, video game console. That's really cool. There's an old school manual, uh, I think that's a Royal typewriter if I'm not, oh Remington, I'm sorry. Uh, Sony VCR, that's an industrial one. It's a laser PC4 computer. There's an Epson computer that a customer had given me. He had that in the printer. There's a Radio Shack color computer, second gen gray, and it's got a modem on the top there. I really miss the days where you could log into a BBS and, and check things out. IBM 5150 with monitor. Tandy 3000 HL. Kind of a rare one. One of my favorite cassette techs. Uh, does, it works. Uh, I think one of the channels is out. Probably needs a little TLC. Uh, JCPenney 8-track player. This is the coolest thing. MCS. It's like a video visualizer that's actually got a little CRT display. Very cool little unit. Here's a very rare TI-99-4, not the 4A, but the 4. A Casio keyboard. Toshiba T3200, got the plasma display. Atari 5200. 
It's a Commodore SX64. They're portable. Vintage uh, VTEC uh, computer. Gold Narrow, one of my favorite uh, RC cars from Radio Shack back in the 80s. Robbie Sr. Robot, he works. Little cool uh, Radio Shack bank, picks up the quarter or a coin and puts it in the little slot. There's the Robbie Sr. box. These are miscellaneous toys and stuff I had as a kid. Osborne 1. That's a Dragon computer. That must be the computer that's out of the box over that we saw earlier. Another Radio Shack color computer. I have several of them. Got a little addiction to those. But that's where it all started. <clears throat> Macintosh Classic. Very cool little uh, computer. This goes right here. Oh, I forgot to show you my Molar Mac. <laughs> I got this... Uh, just about a week ago. Unfortunately, it was damaged in shipping. It was perfect until the FedEx folks did not ship it or pack it well enough. Anyways, it got cracked up here and over here and then right here. Um, it wasn't working when I first received it, but I did finally get it powered up. Um, however, it's every once in a while it makes like a poppy noise out of the display, so I'm a little concerned that that thing's gonna go. So. But the seller refunded me my money, and um, where was I here? Okay, so they refunded my money, and then um, we were over here. Okay, there's a Commodore Pet. So anyways, I got I got the thing for free, so um, that's a good deal. I paid three fifty for it, got my money back. He's got his uh, money back because he filed a claim with uh, FedEx, and I got a Muller Mac that normally would go for 600 or more. So anyways... Commodore PET, uh, the first computer I ever used. Very cool computer, very nostalgic to me. Uh, works relative to what it is. <laughs> um, is there anything down here interesting? I'm not seeing much. I was going to show you something cool, and I, maybe it was the Commodore PET that I was thinking of, anyways. There's the heavy Sixer Atari, kind of a rare one. Literally heavy. Zenith computer. Packard Bell computer, awesome. IBM PC Jr. iMac G4, maybe that's a 17 inch screen. There's your Apple II GS and your Apple II E. Uh, I believe this one works, I'm not sure about the uh, two GS. Awesome uh, Power Mac G5. I love that case even to this day. It's just a sweet case. Um, not really that you can do much with the machine nowadays, but the case is just really cool looking. There's an iMac G5. <clears throat> the Apple Emate 300. That's my first uh, digital camera, the Apple Quick Take 100 back there. Uh, compact Presario Tower. I think that's Snoopy's brother Spike back there. There's a Commodore Vic Slim up there. It actually has Windows 7 or uh, Windows 10 on there. That's the newer one. I got that new in a box. That's kind of a rare guy. Uh, Tandy VIS, Video Information System. Cool little system. There's your 1000 RL. I'm still looking for an RLX. 1000 SX. Your CM5 monitor. Tandy Sensation, one of Tandy's coolest computers they ever made, multimedia machine. Works. This is another, this is the TX that was a step up from the uh, SX, and it has, uh, I've got a little Tandy mouse that they came back out with before Radio Shack went out of business. I shouldn't say out of business, before they shut all their uh, stores down. That's a uh, Laptop I sold back in the 90s doesn't work, but kind of cool. Those things were like probably three or thirty-five hundred dollars. It was three grand or thirty-five hundred. There's a Columbia computer, Key Pro, Osborne. I got a Nixie calculator right back underneath there. That's my little gym baby. 
I actually got that, and then a Casio one too, floating around. There's another SX. There's your model uh, 4P. There's the Nixie. That's the other Nixie calculator. It wasn't Casio. It's a Remington. <clears throat> Uh, 2500 SX20 computer, very cool computer. Low storage. Okay, so I got a low storage notification on my cheap little camera here, so I'm gonna have to speed this up. Uh, Coco 3, TRS-80 Model 4, some more Tandy computers. Model 3. I'm not going to be able to go through all this because we're running out of room. Uh, Vic Commodore 16, pretty cool little computer. Go to the Coco 2. There's some miscellaneous uh, audio equipment. <clears throat> Another fax machine, Tandy 1200, very unique computer with a VM5 monitor. There's an accordion, very unique uh, NEC PC 6001A. Just some miscellaneous stuff up here, robots and Radio Shack stuff, arcade, these are some newer things up here, some books, things like that. 